Today is Christmas Day, so welcome to the countdown. We're getting on to number seven and we're counting down towards the new year. But Merry Christmas today and really try to take today and celebrate. Be yourself, be in the moment, be who you are, be who you want to become. Okay, on to today's video. Well, it's a snowy Christmas morning. And today I wanna to talk about saying goodbye to expectations. So why am I talking about this on Christmas? Well, Christmas is that time of year that we wait for, we hope for, we plan for, we wrap presents, we get so excited for, and in our minds, we have the most wonderful experience. We see it clearly as we plan, as we plan for this one day. We see it, we see it in our mind. We're envisioning our future. We're almost creating what we want. We use the law of attraction for this beautiful Christmas day. We see all the time and energy we spent into wrapping children's gifts and families and we, 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 we almost hear the music and see the smiles and the laughter and we feel the love. So we create, we envision this future for ourselves. And when we step into that day, it may not go. Sometimes it doesn't unfold exactly how we wanted it to because we can't control everything else. We can't control what someone does or says or thinks on Christmas day. And we envisioned it and we called it to us. And then when we step into the actual day, we can become very easily disappointed or disillusioned. For me example, I'll just give you an example. I had some whining, you know, complaining and even arguing children on Christmas morning. And to me, it just was like, it dashed, you know, all of my expectations that I had for this morning. Even though there was so much good to grab onto, I let those little things like, cause it didn't align with what I had called in, what I had envisioned, what I wanted so badly. And this is what I want to share with you today, is that sometimes all our work on the law of attraction, calling things in, and it comes, but it doesn't come necessarily exactly how we thought, exactly how we planned, exactly how we wanted, and sometimes things aren't meeting those inner expectations. You know, if like a child whines or cries or complains or whatever, it's just so disappointing. wonderful, wonderful things to look at. You sort of feel like a knife to the heart in certain moments. You're like, oh, it didn't happen. This didn't meet my expectations. And so we immediately stay in that vibration, that lower vibration of disappointment. When, you know, moments earlier, we had the chance to stay in love and gratitude and happiness, no matter what anything happens around us, no matter what anyone else is doing, right? So, so this is where we fall down, is we call it into being, we call our health, our happiness, our relationships, our love into being, but there's always gonna be problems, there's always gonna be little things, little setbacks, little disappointments, little things that don't, that we didn't envision, and then we get disappointed. And we say, oh, it didn't work out exactly how I wanted. But it could if we let go of those expectations. Because once you step into your vision, it's the vibration that brings us there. We, we feel joy and love and expectation as we're stepping towards the day. And then on the day, we can feel a little bit sad or lonely or cranky because it didn't meet those. But do you see that's a different vibration that we're calling on that day? That if we could just realize that everything going around us doesn't need to affect that love and joy and gratitude that we feel in our heart. So as we count down, as we count down towards the new year, we have to, we have to say goodbye 
to expectations. We have to say goodbye to the story of what should be. We have a very rigid story in our mind of what should be and what should have been, what should have been and what should be today and what should be tomorrow. We have very firm and rigid expectations. This shouldn't have happened. It should be like this. I should be better. This should be going more my way. It shouldn't be this way. It shouldn't have gone like this. It shouldn't be like this in the future. This person shouldn't be acting like this. I shouldn't be feeling like this, right? There's all these shoulds and expectations and we're so rigid and we need, as we count down, to say goodbye to our rigidness, to our expectations, and just stop and look around and be like, wow, it's snowing, it's beautiful, it's Christmas. Yeah, I've got blinding kids or arguing or, you know, the milk spilled or we ran out of something or whatever, but that is just part of the journey it's part of the joy it's all part of the love and the experience that we can have if we allow ourselves to stop holding on to these rigid expectations these stories in our mind and just open to what is allow what is let go of snowy windy blizzard on 2020 you know as we're still going through COVID times and things may not be exactly how we thought or envisioned them to be this Christmas or even as we head into the new year but they are what they are we are who we are what's happening is what's happening and we have a responsibility to now say goodbye expectations, all those stories of what should have been and what should be now and what should be in the future. Dream it into existence without a rigidness. Just keep pointing your compass in the right direction. But know that as, as the story unfolds, it's going to change and morph and there's going to be dips and turns and if we get stuck in the disappointment of the turns then we've we've sort of gotten off the ride that we want to be on right like a roller coaster there's ups and there's downs but it's the ride it's the fun of it all it can't all be downhill it can't all be uphill right so we have to roll with what's happening on our journey let go of the expectations point our compass in the right direction and enjoy what is in the moment. Be present to what is and bring your highest vibration into the story right now. No matter what is going on, no matter how you're disappointed or things aren't living up to what you thought, let all that go and bring love, bring joy, bring gratitude, and it will turn into that. Find the good, see the good, do the good, say the good. And so you have to, you have to be willing to let go of everything that you're attached to, all those outcomes that you're attached to. The attachment is what's getting us. You have to be willing to let it go of the attachment because we hold so tight that if this isn't perfect, if this doesn't go the way that I thought it should, if this doesn't go the, thought, the way I wanted it to, the way I believe it should be, then I won't be loved. Everything will be wrong with the world. I won't be okay. Right? I won't be loved. I won't be safe. I won't be okay. I won't be accepted. I won't be valued. Whatever it is. And that's just, that's the lie that we hold on to. We hold on to this attachment that something has to be a certain way. 
for us to feel safe and loved and happy. And that's not true. We can feel safe and loved and happy even if that thing that you're so desperately attached to doesn't happen at all. So let go of this attachment. Let go of your grip on it. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to attachment in 2021. And hello to what is. Say goodbye to the attachment and the idea that things can only be right. I am only loved. I am only safe. I am only accepted. I am only valued. I, everything is only okay if a certain thing happens. It's not true. You are loved and okay anyways. I hope this video has been helpful and I will see you in our next one.